When a black billionaire meets a white billionaire, do you think there's any racism? Do you think they care? He's a billionaire. I'm a billionaire. Both our yachts are in Monaco. He's from Algeria. He stole all the gold. I'm a stock market whatever. There's no racism. The racism's for the poor people. Because if you keep the poor people divided, they can't wake up long enough to do what I did and read about how money works. Because if they do that, we are got big trouble, right? <laughs> then the slaves will wake up. You don't want to deprogram the slaves. So you have to convince the slaves that it's not the monetary system's fault that you're broke. It's not the monetary system's fault that you continue to work for a set number of dollars and the price of houses just keep going up and up and up. It's not the monetary system's fault. It's the white man's fault or the black man's fault or the Asian people's fault, someone else's fault. I think all this stuff, feminism, racism, all these things, I think they're all control mechanisms. They have to keep the poor people fighting amongst each other because if the poor people all unite, then it's much harder to control us. Hey, yo. Man, that's nothing but facts, dude. Look, I mean, look at Dave Chappelle. I've heard his, his, uh, one of his uh, stand-ups. Uh, which one? <laughs> he, was like, he was like, Donald Trump doesn't hate me. He's helping me out because I'm one of the rich. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. It was, it was hilarious. Yeah. Um, man, that's true, man. Uh, it's just all distractions, dude. The media is just distractions for us. I mean, I've, I'm pretty sure uh, we all fall into this whole distraction and, and like racism. And the funny thing that you mentioned about racism, like, I usually only get racism from poor people, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't really think about it. They're all poor people. And they're just mad about their lives. And, like, they're mad that, like, Asian people are taking their jobs, you know? Yeah. And we're, we're getting smarter. We're, we're, we're being doctors and, and lawyers. And they're, they're upset about it. And they use the, the racism card all the time. Especially, um, yeah, even in middle school, bro. Like, it's just, like, this tactic of, like, trying to, like, belittle you because yeah. Yeah. they have nothing else. You know yeah. what I mean? They just generationally filled with hate man it's just they, you know yeah. you know like so so my so so I'll, i'm gonna i'm gonna step in because I, I really want to yeah, talk go, go on, on this piece is that like um it's it's victimhood mentality and you know you know like like not to disregard racism right because people are racist but the thing is yeah, right it's, it's, yeah it's there like like not not only racism but then like uh what is it um I think a cognitive bias or some kind of bias. I forgot what the, fuck the term is, but you know, when we when we see people, we are automatically think a certain way about that person, right? So that that yeah, yeah. that exists. But at the yeah. same time, right? Like you, right? Me as a person, I'm where I'm at today because my grandparents, right? They fled from a war torn country, didn't know the fucking language. They came here, they learned, right? They bust their ass. My parents learned, bust their ass. I'm learning and I'm busting my ass, you know? So there's obstacles yep. in your life, you know? You're, you're gonna have adversity. You're gonna have, you're probably gonna have racist people trying to hold you down. But then, you know, not not every fucking turn you go is gonna be, you know, a wall, you know? And so, so I think that is a product of victimhood mentality. Hey, let's blame it on racism. Let's blame it on, um, um, on, on other things other than me, yeah. right? Because like, like I think, um, with That's today's America, age, dude. with today's age too, right? It's just, you know, we have the luxury of of um, of uh, uh, getting an Uber, right? Transportation. I don't even need to fucking own a car if I didn't want to, right? Um, you know, you can have your own car, you know, if you wanted to. You can carpool, or or you can work online. You can work from home. Um, you know, you can learn a lot of shit. There's so much fucking information that you can learn on YouTube, right? So so there's all these resources and. You know, but all we want to do is we want to expect and then expect a lot, you know, from the government. We want we expect a lot from uh, these big corporations and, and we want to do as little as possible. You know, and I think that mentality or or this age that the this this, um, I guess, prosperous age that we live in kind of, you know, entitles people like that and, and, and entitlement, too. Right. I think I think there's a lot of programs in place that entitle poor habits and that's why people stay poor and and not only that but uh, i think ultimately what gets you out of the shithole that you're in is um your values your personal values is what makes you who you are right like if you value hard work if you value working 80 hours a week if you value um self-improvement right if you value being uh if you value legacy right you know all these you know 
mindset, right? These wealthy mindset, you know, will get you to where you want to get to. And and I think I think if people stop, you know, paying too much attention about racism and and um, just pay more attention about their skill set and in and where to apply themselves, I think they'll they'll be in a much better place. Yeah, I, I agree. I strongly agree, man. Um, I mean, it takes one to know. I mean, I was, I was, I was in that. I thought about that. I mean, it's part of a human mind is just to kind of be lazy and and you know not do much and just kind of point fingers, right? I think that's kind of America alone too. Um, but you know, once you start catching yourself to to do that, and you're like, whoa, that's just not me, and it's not working. Um, and learning from that, and that's where self-development happens and, and switch of mentality happens. Because if you decide to do that much more or something different from that um, person or that mindset, you'd be surprised how much more successful you'll be just switching the mindset of not being a victim and just going head on working and being humble with it. Yeah, I mean, I totally agree. And that's that. That's what divides the the weak and and the, and the strong too, though. That's that's the honest truth, man. And when I see myself kind of falling into that situation, like I catch myself earlier than before before I fall too deep, you know. And obviously, like I I know that place, you know. And I I don't like that place, you know. It's part of the comfort zone, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. So. Yeah, it's, it's always good to uh, try to like you know put yourself out of it and, and and you know be different and that's the only way for you to be successful, man. And it took years to to finally just really. I mean, I'm still having learned enough yet or know enough, but I, I'm definitely more aware of it for sure. Um, tight. But yeah, man, that great video, dude. I love Entertain, man. That guy, <laughs> like, what color? You know, you know, for that, for that, I actually had two videos, two different videos. One yeah. was uh, Morgan Freeman, and then the other one, which is Andrew Tate. And I was like, "Man, I ain't got much time. I'm gonna use my Andrew Tate card." <laughs> Andrew Tate, bro, I love Andrew Tate, man. He's he's uh, he's awesome, bro. 